a 12,000 miles per hour airplane, an anti-telemarketer robot, ant simulator canceled by strippers, and Star Citizen free to play. These are today's bits. If you wanted to fly from New York to London today, you would be looking at about an eight hour flight, give or take. And that's not including getting to the airport early, finishing your anal probes, and getting pre-flight hammered at the overpriced airport bar. But a new concept from the engineer Charles Bombardier is claiming to have the ability to fly at speeds at 12,430 miles per hour. While doing this, it can carry up to 10 passengers and fly at an altitude of 40,000 feet. Now, yes, this is only a design concept, and not a whole lot is known about how we'll be able to withstand the heat from these types of speeds. Also, how the hell they plan on slowing it down without ripping the thing apart. But they did say it will be powered by reusable liquid oxygen or kerosene rockets. So basically, if you have an estimated $20,000 for a ticket to go on this thing, they will strap your ass to a rocket, shoot you through the air at speeds so high that the friction from the plane moving through the air is enough to make you burst into flames and die a horrible fiery death that will last for roughly around an eighth of a second. But it's okay because you signed the waiver form. Okay, so it really does sound like a cool idea. I just can't help but to imagine the most horribly wrong thing that could ever go wrong. Speaking about horribly wrong, the Fine Brothers, who you might know from YouTube, has recently gotten into some pretty deep hot water over one of their recent videos. I will link to that video in the description, but the common take from it is that they want to copyright all React videos on the internet and force people to pay to do them. If you look at the whole thing without prejudice, you might be able to see a little bit of logic from their video. They intend to license a very specific format of React videos with a certain graphics, editing, and styles being used. The problem is, is that this is way too vague, and the very idea of demanding payment for something that might resemble someone else's style that wasn't really theirs to begin with is kind of appalling. And what really blows my mind is how the hell the Fine Brothers can get away with showing complete videos owned by other people on their channel without constantly getting flagged for copyright violations. In a number of instances, they have taken down, disabled, or even monetized other people's React videos because they showed the Fine Brothers video and reacted to that. So yes, that's right. They're in the business of stealing other people's content, playing it on YouTube, making a shitload of money off of it because they react to it. But if somebody wants to react to their reactions, they take it down. So far within less than a week, they have lost over 200,000 subscribers, which is funny because they've lost more subscribers than I'll probably ever gain. Setting the rant aside though and getting back to technology, a new service has sprung up that will allow you to forward all of those pesky telemarketer calls to a machine that is designed specifically to waste their time. And I, just like every other person on this planet, hate telemarketers. For an example of what this wonderful machine can do, follow the link here or in the description. It's hilarious because the machine forces the guy to repeat the same thing over and over. You can also head on over to the Jolly Roger Telephone Company website to find instructions on how to forward your calls to this machine and get ready for a good laugh. Strippers have caused the up and coming Ant Simulator game to be canceled. Not directly of course, but as it turns out their business partners to the lead programmer secretly stole all of their Kickstarter funds to go out eat, party, and hire strippers. What's even worse is that after everything came to light, the partners threatened to sue Eric, the lead programmer, if he released the game without them. So for anyone who threw money at this game to see it developed, well, you're just kind of out of luck. Kind of sucks too, because the game actually looked like it could have been kind of interesting. Just another sad story in the world of failed Kickstarters, because people are greedy and like hookers. Strippers. They like strippers. For the last story today, Star Citizen is going to be free to play all week. Just keep in mind that this game might consume every single free moment of your life and convince you to give lots of money in the process, which is totally why I'm going to stay away from it. That's it for today. Smash the like button below. Follow me on Twitter and underscore bite my bits. Thank you for watching and have a good day.